As I was saying, that looks delicious! But I won't ask about the ingredients. Neither would I. Neither would I, Wiki. <laughs> anyway, let's go down these stairs and let's click on this tree right here. Alright, click on the tree and shaky, 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 shake it! Oh, yay! We got a coconut! Woohoo! Okay, click on the coconut. We got a coconut. Isn't that a great coconut? It is pretty. Alright, let's go up, back, up, over the stairs and into this thingy again. Alright, this time you want to reverse the direction that you were turning before. Go, 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 go! Okay, we made it back, and now we're gonna click over here and see this hole down here. Oh wait, I should show you what's down the hole first. There's a little snake down this hole. Hello, little snake, and we're going to drop this coconut down the hole. <laughs> this might make the snake a little bit mad, but it won't know what hit him, so it will be just fine. Oh 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 my god! Oh, oh no! Oh no! Ah! Oh, run! Run! Alright! Woohoo! Thank you, thank you very much. Alright, now grab that sleeping mushroom and then go down this vine right here since the coast is clear. Click on the pot right here, you'll jump up right on top of it. And drop this in here and turn your wrist, plop, right into the food. Thank you very much, thank you. And uh, these guys would have to be stupid not to notice that it has changed to purple and changed a snake into the slither gripper. Thank you. And I don't know why they have the cutscene every time you grab the item. Every single, well, when you grab your first item in, a, in the world, and grab and pull up and, I mean, push up and there we go. Thank you very much. Thank you. And, uh, yes, let's grab this giant ladle right here. Woohoo! It is the iron ladle. Now let's click on this gong up here. Let's just see what happens when we do one of these babies. Dong! Run! Click on the vine, click on the vine, click, 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 run! Run! Okay, we made it. What, okay, what's gonna happen? Oh, look at those snarly teeth. Look at them go. Uh-oh. And they're out like light. Woohoo! <laughs> That's a nice thing to teach kids, you know, to drug other people. <laughs> But anyway, let's go back down the vine, and let's click on this thingy right here, which is a very strange looking flute, I must say. And it's the Growling Goblin Flute, and if you want to, you can change these guys into uh, little totem pole things. But uh, it's not really necessary since they stay asleep for the rest of the puzzle. See, it's a Goblin, I mean Growling Goblin Totem. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna click over here, ding ding ding, okay, thank you very much. And I'm gonna go click on this thing right here. Alright, and uh, since I got the flu- oh shoot, I don't have the flute. I dropped that! Shoot, 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 thank you, there's the flute. Alright, <laughs> and shoot, it's a flute. <laughs> That's a new song, okay. Okay, hold it just like this, like you were, um, you know, kind of tooting a lute, uh, flute itself, and left one, left one, and this, and uh, one, two, oh, I must have did it wrong. <laughs> Let's try this again here. Oh, I hit the B button. No, it's not that hard to do the flute. Oh, come on. It's really not that hard to do the flute. Thank you very much. And okay. Da, 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 da. Oh, come on. All right, there we go. <laughs> I didn't know it was so hard to blow a flute. Alright, here we go. Looks like that we have blown out the fire. That was the trigger point, was that uh, treasure, I mean the flute thingy. And we are going to go back up the vine to the upper floor. While these guys are still, you know, transforming into totem block thingies. Click on this thing. Since everyone and everything is now sleeping or gone, we do not have to worry about them. I mean, tran sleeping or transform, we don't have to worry about that. And if you were to ask me, I would say that this treasure chest is still very, very hot, yet he touches it like it is nothing, and we gain the treasure from within its contents. <laughs> and stage clear! This is an anchor in case you can't tell, the need anchor. Thank you. Yes. Why don't we just trade in these parts for money? I think this would be a much better treasure than any old rickety ship. It probably can't even sail. <laughs> 
Anyway, to the next level we go. Let's see what treasure we got there. We got a lot of critters there. Ooh, unpuzzleable. Thank you very much. I know. I am smart. <laughs> and it's loading. Oh, yeah. Gotta love loading screens. And uh, let's see how much we can get done of another part. I mean, of another uh, puzzle, so to speak. Is another one gonna open? Yes, it is. Okay. I'm gonna do the one that just popped up. This is called the Fountain Guardian. And this is going to take a little longer than the other ones, but don't worry, we'll get it done. Believe me, we'll get it done. Dang, I hate that glowy effect through the camera. I really wish I could do something about that. But anyway, the level has just started right now, and there's the treasure. We've got a sleeping uh, little tribal guy right there, and there's, yeah. And this is the puzzle level. It's pretty dang big, I gotta say. Hey. And, uh, yeah, let's see what's underneath one of these rocks right here. I'm pretty sure one of these has a worm. Uh, no, that's not the one. Maybe it's this one. That's in here. Uh, no, that's not. Let's see what's... Uh, that's a radish, by the way. I can click on those, get some moolah, and I guess that's not it. Oops. Up to Daisy. Which one of these rocks holds the worm? I absolutely need the worm, by the way. And does this one have the worm? No, it doesn't. Is this one? No. Oh, collect that. Um, and let's see. Ding! Oh, you ride the river right to the other side. Yeah, we got a water slide going around the bends there, and uh, we got a sleeping guy. You know he's gonna wake up if we go down that slide right now and probably kill us. So it's best if we don't do that. So let's just. Uh, Ooh, it's a frog! Okay, let's uh, let's just dingling the frog here and see what happens to it. What the heck is this thing? Oh ah, no, it's a frog bomb! And it's got a timer! Run! Run! Throw it in the water to douse it! We real grip. Chuck it up, just like that. There we go. And it'll slide down right to Tribal Dude over there. And uh, whoop, whoop, a fuse isn't going out, even if it touches the water. Oh my god! Oh my god! Huh? Ah! Take that, tribal dude! Thank you very much, that knocks him out. Now we gotta go back over here to get that worm. You'll see why I need it in just a second. Well, actually, I could show you right now. There is a very mean little fishy with snarly teeth in the water there. So we have to go... Where is the worm, anyway? Is it up here? We should have a worm, seriously. Um, maybe it's under here this time. I, I don't know if they're, like, randomized or something like that. Let's see if there's a worm. Yes, there is a worm down here. The worm is not usually down here. So, uh, let's grab that worm. <laughs> Woo! And, uh, let's go back up top. Uh, I'm running out of time in this part, so, oops. Did not, did not mean to click on that, so I'm going to slide down the waterfall, hopefully, in, uh, this part. Go, 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 go! Clicky! Clicky! In the water! It's a theme park! Yahoo! Thank you very much, and now we're gonna go over here and we're gonna ring the bell and make Tribal Guy change into a totem just to make it safe, and I'll see you guys in the next part.